Scouting is a council level program that offers training in eight different program areas including Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, Venturing, Sea Scouts, District Committee Studies, our doctoral program for both the normal and commissioners, as well as our continuing education or general studies. We offer courses, there's over 150 classes here today offered by 100 different instructors in all of these different areas. At the University of Scouting, we have something for everybody. All adult leaders can benefit by attending your class here. We have classes on many different topics. We have classes on interfaith studies. We have classes on district committee service on advancement committees, camping committees. We have classes for Cub Scout leaders on how to develop a good program for their dens or their packs. We have classes that help our Boy Scout leaders uh, deliver the sizzle to their outdoor program. So there really is something for everybody here at the University of Scouting. People who attend the University of Scouting and hopefully their unit leaders will encourage them to attend, they come and gain skills and knowledge that will help their units serve their youth better. There is something that all levels can learn about all the positions that they might be registered in. Since we are a University of Scouting, okay, we offer uh, an attendance certificate, but we also offer what we call the Bachelor's of Scouting, a Master's Degree in Scouting, and of course I already mentioned the Doctorate. We also have a Fellow Award, which is something beyond a Doctorate. Uh, these are not four-year degrees. As a matter of fact, you can earn these degrees by simply attending your seven class periods in a year. Now, some of them have some additional requirements, such as you have to recruit somebody or may have to help with a, a service project but we do offer some recognition for the people who attend. Well, we have doctoral studies. It's sort of the, the, um, the pinnacle of, of studying and training because first you come here to the University of Scouting where you're going to take a lot of courses. You're going to get your bachelor's. It's just kind of the beginning, and then you're going to get your master's the next, the next year you come. And then three more years later, you're going, to, you're going to work on your thesis, and you're going to come see me, and then we're going to teach you how to write a thesis. It's a lot like a wood badge ticket where you spend time doing a project, something you care about, and then what we're doing is we're creating a document that then other scouters can see and can learn from. And it's a, a pretty fun process, and it's, it's some work, but it's very rewarding, and you get to tell people you, have, you hold a doctorate. So at the University of Scouting, we also incorporate the College of Commissioner Science. And the College of Commissioner Science actually operates using the national syllabus for commissioner courses. With the courses that are offered through our College of Commissioner Science here at the University of Scouting, commissioners can earn a Bachelor's of Commissioner Science, which is a nationally recognized degree, as well as a Master's of Commissioner Science and the Doctorate of Commissioner Science. In addition to the Doctorate of Commissioner Science, if you fulfill all the requirements, there's a, a square knot that you can put on your uniform that is indicating that you've earned the Doctorate of Commissioner Science, and there is a little bit extra, so I was just going to class to get that. The College of Commissioner Science is a classes of levels of classes that support all of our commissioners and their commissioner staff and their duties. It helps them to understand um, in depth beyond the basic training of techniques and things they can do to support a unit because our constant piece is to maintain our units, to retain them, and to give them suggestions for more programs and opportunities to make their unit go better. Commissioners should definitely strive to do this. It is important that we take our bag of tricks and refresh it and brainstorm with other commissioners, maybe those that have tried different techniques that have been effective. We are dealing with units with all kinds of backgrounds with their leadership. We need to be able to support everyone in where they are and, and where they want to go with their unit. In the College of Commissioner Science, there's a bachelor level that immediately supports that basic training that you took. And then beyond that, there's the next year you can take seven courses at the master's level, which is a variety of techniques that may go you a little further, or help you support you in the job if you've gone on to the ADC or DC part of Commissioner Science. There's the master's level where you're going out on an area of Commissioner Science you are especially interested in and gone into some in-depth research. You also have proven yourself as an effective commissioner at that point and are working to recruit other commissioners to follow you out. These programs are also become specified with offering a bachelor's in roundtable for that unique 
part and a master's in roundtable. So those roundtable commissioners that meet our units every single month are properly prepared to support those DEN leaders and unit leaders in giving a great program to their units. It's a yearly event and we are also supported as commissioners with the Commissioner Conference, which will happen traditionally in the fall where commissioners at every level with every expertise interact with others and get lots of ideas. And then there is national training, which is available also for any level of commissioner. There is national training at Philmont, at Summit, and at Florida Sea Base. Take advantage of any one of those. And there's some regional training also. Every one of them will help you add to your commissioner bag of tricks. There is a Boy Scout side of the University of Scouting that evolves around training opportunities for leaders to come and get some information that they can take back to their units. Uh, and some of this stuff revolves around the troop structure, patrol structure, um, also high adventure that they might want to do. And so we try to provide them through our trainers that opportunity to learn. The Boy Scout program is um, a number of classes that we have that teach the Scout Masters and Assistant Scout Masters uh, different parts of their craft to help uh, the program for the boys. It's a great program for any leader to take, whether they've been in scouting for a number of years or whether they've been, uh, they're just coming into scouting, uh, because what it allows us to do is it allows um, scouters um, of different number of years of experience to get together and actually talk through a lot of the different uh, opportunities and um, issues that they have in uh, administering the scout program for the boys. Four should be recommending to the leaders in their units, in their district, to, to attend because it'll give them an opportunity to learn. Also, uh, Weeblos, Weeblo leaders that might be transferring over, crossing over, uh, should attend any of the Boy Scout, Boy Scout items because it's gonna give them an opportunity to see on, on the Boy Scout level some of the things that they may not be aware of. There's a little difference between Cub Scouting and Boy Scouting, we all know that. But also, Corps have a very um, good opportunity to make sure that their unit leaders also attend. University of Scotland is a great place to get a wide variety of knowledge on a lot of different topics from subject matter experts and meet other unit leaders who may have resources that you can utilize in your own unit at some point later in time. One of the things University of Scouting offers venturing is the opportunities to meet other ventures with the same problems that they may have within their units or crews. Uh, we also have a youth venturing program that allows those youth to interact and become better leaders for the future so they, they can back to their crews and be better leaders. Leaders get the opportunity to find the right source for the problems they're encountering. They also get the opportunity to talk to other leaders that have already experienced issues, problems, or situations that they're experiencing now. So it allows them to find solutions quicker and network better. I uh, made a lot of friends, um, learned a lot of new things, learned ways, better ways of doing business, and um, it's a, met people who can help me do a better program for my unit. The University of Scouting offers special courses with, for special needs scouting and like how to register, how to advance, what is a disabled scout, um, how to work with scouts with autism, how to work with scouts with ADHD. Also bullying and we also have a special needs forum where we sit down and just have an open forum for discussion for problems in special needs scouting or questions and answers just to see what everybody knows and learn from each other. There's a missed group in special needs scouting. There's a missed group of kids with autism that may not be able to advance that need to have a special exemption to further their rank or further their merit or get alternate merit badges to keep going in scouting to obtain the rank of Eagle or the other ranks in venturing or Sea Scouts. Special needs scouting is not only in Boy Scouts, venturing in um, Sea Scouts, it's also in Cub Scouts. The big thing to remember in Cub Scouts is do your best, but we do, ex we do accept Scouts over the ages of 11 into Cub Scouts, over the ages of 17 into Boy Scouts, and over the ages of 21 into venturing. 
Well, the College of Cub Scouting is all about Cub Scouting. So we offer about 18 courses for ver in various you know, topics of Cub Scouting. And we encourage our leaders to, you know, take all the Cub Scouting courses they can with their fellow Cub Scouts, share their ideas, talk about what they're doing in their pack and in their den. And, you know, we come away at the end of the day with uh, a lot of exchanged ideas and learning about Cub Scouting. These, the, these classes should be taken by den leaders, committee, uh, people, cub masters, anyone who has an interest in Cub Scouting, even parents, come take uh, courses at the College of Cub Scouting. I'm here to learn a little bit more about my position, get some help with uh, some training and also fixing situations within some of my units. Uh, and I'm also here to help other scouters do just the same. I'm here because I want to be more involved with uh, my pack and with our district and helping get leaders trained. This is my third year at University of Scouting and I come because um, life is all about learning and I never want to stop learning. So I come to learn about how I can be of more benefit to my troop and now as a unit commissioner to the troops that, I, that I'm serving. I also come for the networking that I meet old scouting friends and make new scouting friends and use those contacts for me in the future. I like coming here because there's a lot of energy. You see lots of scouters that you don't see every year. Um, I enjoy getting jazzed up about scouting and learning some things that I haven't known before. It's a fabulous tool for leaders to learn about the skills of being a leader, of um, interaction with members uh, of the council, the district, knowing what your role is, where you can find information, where you can find resources. Uh, mostly it's about the networking and about finding other people who have had the same issues and same problems that you're having. Well, you've got a resource to, to fall back on. And so that would, works great. I would definitely recommend this, uh, especially being a first time participant. There's so much that I've learned today that fellow leaders and other leaders out there don't know as far as regulations, all the resources that are available for help, uh, just a wealth of knowledge, and it's all here in one place and you need to come get it. I love teaching and I love going to the class. I learned so much and the best part of all is to get to meet with other people and really hear about their experiences as well. I think it's wonderful. I think it's something that every scout leader should do. It teaches you some of the basic needs you need to run a troop or a pack. Um, it's great. What, what else can I say? It's just fantastic. This is my first time at the University of Scouting and I absolutely had a blast. Uh, I really liked the different courses they had and um, just getting some clarification on things that you, that you normally struggle to get clarification on. So this was my first time at University of Scouting. I've been out of the scouting arena for quite some time. I wanted to get involved again. Um, looked at some Boy Scout troops and decided that venturing is where I wanted, where my passion was at this point. Uh, I had an amazing time today. I didn't really know what to, to expect. I had not done a formal training event uh, as an adult in many, many years. Um, I thought this was an, a great venue, though it took me a little while to get here. Um, the instructors were very professional. I was most impressed by the students, or excuse me, the uh, scouts that were here, the, the youth that did the uh, panels, and they did, they did about half my training. They were amazing, very knowledgeable, clearly wonderful leaders, um, had a lot of experience, imparted a perspective that I really didn't expect. Well, this was my first time at University of Scouting. Uh, learned a lot, learned some information I didn't know before. Uh, I would definitely recommend this for anybody who wants to learn more about scouting and how to be a, uh, what scouting does. I've been doing this for a couple years and I've seen where a lot of classes are full. So it's a good opportunity for us on the Boy Scout side to provide this to the leaders in Baltimore Area Council as well as out of the council. We've got a, several people here today that are taking their classes that are out of council. Uh, my first year at University of Scouting was 2003 and I have been here every year since. I earned my fellow uh, here at University of Scouting, I think back around 2009. I think this is the very best single day of training any scout leader can have by coming to University of Scouting.